So I'm here with Mitchell Kruger, top U.S. junior prospect, who uh, recently decided to to go on the pro tour. When did you when did you decide to turn pro? Uh, I signed with Octagon, my management agency, about a week after Wimbledon ended. So it's been a, about a month and a half, I'd say. And how has that uh, past month and a half gone for you? Uh, I mean, it's it's been it's gone really well. I've I think it feels like a lot of weight off my shoulders and that I've made the decision to go pro instead of college because I know I was thinking about it for quite a while but I've had some pretty good results I won around in qualifying here and uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to get my career going so let's talk about your equipment uh, what are you currently playing with on tour I use a uh, Technofiber it's a 325 VO2 max racket and I mean, do you do any customization to your racket, or do you play with the, the stock frame? Uh, I add about nine grams to the racket, kind of in the handle, so it it's got it's a little heavier, and the balance is a little different, and it, it plays really well. And how would you say that the uh, the extra weight affects like the feel and and the playability of your racket? Um, I think it it helps with. You know, swing speed and power, and I think, you know, as I've gotten older and stronger, it's it's better to you know have a sh have a heavier racket. It's it's easier to play with, I think, than a, a much lighter one. I mean, did did you just start customizing your racket when you turned pro, or is this something you've always played around with as a as a junior? I know you had a really successful junior career. Um, I mean, I've. I've been customizing rackets since I'm probably around 13 years old. Obviously, not as much as I do now because I was a lot smaller and you know not as strong. But as I've gotten older, I've begun adding quite a bit more, and it's more like a pro racket right now. It's, it suits me well, I think. What kind of what kind of customizations did you do as a junior? I mean, is that is that common? Were other kids uh, messing with their rackets? I mean, it, I think it's gotten very common among a lot of juniors and especially pros. I'm uh, everyone customizes their racket in, in some way or another, whether adding weight or changing the grip or you know something like that. It's it's everyone does it. Yeah. Do you play with uh, with a custom mold grip or do you use the the Technofiber grip? I I use the Technofiber grip, but they I if I wanted to use like maybe like a Wilson grip because they're all shaped differently or something like that, they would be able to. But I, I like the Technofiber one, so that's what I use. But you like the Technofiber shape. I mean, what? Why do you think you like that one over opposed to like a, a Wilson shape or or Babolat shape? I mean, I I just it feels comfortable in my hand. Uh, I mean, I, I I don't like to change a lot of things. You know, once I get something I like, I like to stick with what I like, and uh, I really like it. So. Talk about your your string. What do you what are you stringing with, and and at what tension? I use the Technofiber black coat string at 53 pounds. And how long have you have you used that? Just since you've turned pro, or uh, I've been using it since I've been with Technofiber, so about almost two years, I think. And that's a, I mean, that's a polyester string. I mean, what do you have? You always played with polyester since you were a junior, or? Um, when I was younger, I used a more like polyester and synthetic gut, and probably around 15 or 16 I started using Luxalon and then with Technofiber I started using Black Code so it's been several years that I've used polyester. So with experience playing with like synthetic gut I mean what how do you think the polyester affects your your game and, and the shots that come off your racket? I think the polyester you know helps a lot with power and control and spin and the technology for the string has gotten so much better that you know uh, it's it's like adding a whole other dimension to the game, especially you know nowadays with what they didn't have maybe even ten years ago. It's it's evolved a lot. I mean, as you uh, I mean, as you're pretty young, and, and I assume as you get stronger and more fit, do you assume that your racket's going to change in the future, or is this something that you think is going to stay the same for a long time? Uh, I mean, you know, there's a chance it could change. I think right now I'm comfortable with where it is, but I think. You know, if I feel like maybe I need to make a change, it's something that I can definitely do. All right, well, thanks so much, Mitchell. Thanks.
Thank you.